Hey, John here. So it's five o'clock in the morning, and I uh, got no hot water. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about you, when you have no hot water at five o'clock in the morning. But I just go to YouTube, find out what the hell's going on. Uh, that's what I did. So I'm hoping there's something called a thermocoupler, which is uh, inside this uh, little patch here. Still waking up. Wait till the missus gets up, finds out there's no hot water. So anyway, apparently these thermal couplers, uh, I don't know, go bad or get dirty. I guess you can clean them. So I'm hoping to get away with taking this apart and seeing if I can clean mine at least for now. Get some hot water, although it's stone cold, so I don't know how long it takes to heat up, even if it does work. But I went through uh, trying this uh, deal with the pilot light, you know, doing that. The pilot light comes on and it stays lit when you have the plunger down and you let off and it goes off. So. Uh, there's a few things on YouTube that go directly to this thermal coupler, so I'm about to attack that, see what's doing. Let me get a closer look here. And, well, this is a 2010 this water heater, so I'm expecting it's still decent shape. <clears throat> it's only eight years old, um, but if I have to replace it, I will. So, like I said, I went through all this nonsense with trying to keep it uh, lit on pilot mode, you know doing that whole gamut just like the, uh, the instructions say and it does uh, you know if you look through the window it will stay lit the pilot light and then it goes off so like I said apparently one of these is the thermal coupler probably this copper one from what I can gather online and this uh, silver one <clears throat> is a little uh, tube for the pilot light uh, you know a little gas tube so this looks like some kind of special Torx bed here, or maybe it's a regular Torx, I don't know. I'll get some tools out. Yank this puppy out, see what she looks like. I'm hoping everything's just dirty and I can clean it, but we'll see. Hold on a second. Actually, I think it is a, <coughs> a normal, a normal uh, uh, Torx. A normal Torx, can't even speak. I need a shower, a hot shower, not a goddamn. Let me see. Here. No good. Eh, even if it is a special one, you know them, them ones with uh, the hole in the middle. You got a Torx with a hole. No, this is this is the one. This is the one. Anyways, looks hopefully. Oh, I did turn the gas off in case anybody's wondering. And hopefully this will just come right off. Actually, I do have to uh, shoot. Let me go get a wrench. Can't just take this window off here. You gotta, you gotta undo all. Uh, oh boy! Undo all these uh, lines up here underneath first. I don't know, first, last, whatever, but let me go get a wrench and get them loose. Because I guess this uh, this whole thing just pulls right out. We'll find out. Hold on a second. All right, so I had to unloosen the two little ones first because that big uh, gas line, that was pretty tight on there, but you can't, the, these are kind of in a way to get a, get a wrench on there. I suppose if you had the right wrench, but I'm using this quality tool here, so um, I had to undo the little ones first, but... So everything's disconnected. I got all them little Torx bolts out, so I'm about to pull this out and see if uh, see if there's any explosions there. So I don't know if it comes out hard and easy. Oh, and this little uh, connector here, unconnected for the igniter. Yeah. So, ah, like I said, I don't know. This one was pretty problematic, but everything's unhooked. So I can't imagine why this just doesn't pull out. Let me just see. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, wow. Let me get a look at that. Hold over there. Alright, that's an <coughs> inside without the burner. There's a lot of crap in there. I'm going to have to get a get a shot back in there and clean all that out but the burner itself looks pretty crudded up let me show you that 
And that's a burner, so obviously it's got uh, some issues here. I don't know if that uh, is affecting the burner itself, you know, as far as uh, <clears throat> the flame coming out of there. I don't know if that, that crusty f stuff is affecting the flame. But here's that uh, thermocouple here, this one. And I'm going to try to take this out and clean it up. But even so, I think they're relatively cheap. This is the uh, little gas tube there, and I see the igniter under there. So it is uh, right across from it. So it's pretty easy to take in and out. Maybe I will try to clean it up, but I can't imagine just cleaning this up will do the trick. I mean, it, it doesn't look that bad. It's just a... Uh, Yeah, I think I'm probably just going to get another one because I got it apart. Why not? So let me clean all this stuff up, get some steel wool, and go to town on this. Vacuum everything up. Go get a coupler. I uh, just informed the wife she's not going to have any hot water. She's thrilled. So I said maybe this afternoon. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need a water heater. Hold on a second. Let me... So this thing up here, I guess, uh, from what I'm reading about, you know the the pilot flame down here heating this wire up I guess sends a voltage signal to uh, maybe I'll try to clean up I don't know now nah, I'll just go get another one sends a voltage signal to that uh, that you know valve switch on the water heater there with the pilot you know and the, the temperature range stuff I guess throws some kind of electromagnetic switch which allows the gas to flow, but I'm not too worried about that. Let me see if I can get the, get this this whole thing apart and bring it to the store. See if I can just replace this whole piece here. Looks relatively easy. I don't know if this. It, I'm looking here. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know if it's this part or not. But if it's cheap enough, under 20 bucks, I'm going to replace it anyway because it seems to me everything online leads to this booger here, th thermal coupler. When your pilot light stays on, uh, but it won't light the burner. I mean if you, you can keep the pilot light on as soon as you let off it goes off the burner won't you know so it, it always leads to this so let me replace that clean this up see if that did the trick. Alright so I was able to get this uh, there's only one tiny little screw that holds this uh, plate on you know connects to here so I took that off and this uh, this just kind of all snaked out through you know the grommet there was on the bottom side just kind of just snaked through this hole here so I'm gonna go look up this part here see if I can get this whole unit otherwise I gotta take um, you know this uh, see if this I, I'm not gonna clean this it doesn't look like to me it doesn't appear to be just cleaning this is gonna do the trick I mean it's uh, it's just gonna be a waste of time I think uh, so I'm gonna go see if this is a part number and see if this whole thing as a unit is replaceable hopefully it's cheap enough and then I'll uh, try that first well, let me go look at the part number first see if there is one alright so that didn't work out very good so this part number uh, is uh, you probably can't see that AP14317C and then uh, I, I little research there's actually dash one um, to look that up now Amazon because uh, I guess it's the new part numbers with a dash one on a, uh, I looked it up on Amazon they have it or they didn't have it, out of stock and don't know when it's going to be available this whole unit and so Home Depot has it uh, but I don't know it, you know they're not going to have it in the store you're going to have to wait to get that online and that's about forty something dollars on uh, at Home Depot so I ran down to the parts store bets plumbing supply they everything they were checking is out of stock everything's out of stock so then I'm going this route here where I just bought a thermal coupler uh, J36124 I'm going to try my luck at fitness generic uh, thermal coupler into because uh, it does come with different things so I'm assuming it's generic but that looks like the only thing I need right there is those threads in that tube um, so I'm going to see if I can get this one out. Get this one out of here. The only thing I can see is a problem is getting it out of this uh, 
I don't, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, but that sleeve I might need, this little sleeve. And hopefully that's, uh, that's the culprit. I don't know how to test this to see if it's good or bad against even a new one. So I'm just going to replace it because it's only 10 bucks and hope for the best. Hope it's not the actual valve body where the thermostat thing is, where the electromagnet switch is. That's going to suck. So let me try this route first for 10 bucks. see if I can get this out of here and do it that way. Yeah, getting this little, the new uh, piece came with a new little holder piece there, but getting that started in the first hole because this flange is here, that was pretty problematic, but I think I got it now where I can snap it into place. Maybe not. There it goes. So that was, uh, that was a little tricky, getting this little, this little booger snapped into place. Now I'm thinking uh, that this thing should go right through. A little bit tight. There it goes. And then it's going to, these little fingers here are going to grab that piece so I can't get it back out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tight. It's got to go further. Ah, there it goes. Wow. Well, anyways, that ain't coming out. So, no oop, not a focus here. So now this flame part, just going to heat this guy up, but I see it's a little bit. A little bit down angle wise. No, I guess not. I guess looking straight on, it's going to hit it. Enough to hit it. Yeah, that flame, it's not exactly, it's just a hair off, but I'm thinking this uh, spark is alright. Well, we'll find out. So, anyways, now I got to bend all this. Uh, the way the original one was, so let me work on that. Everything's back in uh, the way it kind of was. Uh, so this rubber, I don't even know if it's rubber, whatever it is, hard rubber. Uh, you know, you can't sneak, uh, you know, because the new piece has a bigger, you know, end to it here. It won't slip through there no matter what you do. So I had to cut a little piece out and slip that in that way, uh, you know, when it's out through the thing. So I'll try to get some some kind of fireproof retardant there just to seal that hole a little bit or maybe a piece of insulation, I don't know, but uh, let's go see if this thing works. I'm going to put it back in the furnace, I mean uh, the heater there, water heater, see if it works, see if this is my dilemma. Alright, so I got her all hooked up. Uh, we'll see if this booger works. If the coupler doesn't work, you know, this, uh, this coupler doesn't work going up there. Maybe it's uh, some kind of, you know, electromagnetic switch or whatever is going on in this valve. Something funky, but let's hope for the best here. So, uh, I left that little window open. I gotta pop it back in. It's just a piece of glass with a bracket. But in case this igniter don't work, I don't want to take it apart. I could shove a lighter in there and uh, or one of those uh, grill lighters and see if I can explode the house. All right, let's see. This goes to pilot. And then, uh, let me see, put this down. Let's see if we can ignite this sucker. I don't know if you can see that, so I gotta hold this, uh, hold this down, uh, I smell gas. For a minute, they say. And this is what I was doing before. I'd hold it down for a minute, two minutes, whatever, any length of time, and then you let go of the button, and it would just go out. So, Hopefully it'll stay lit as soon as I let go of this pilot button. If it doesn't, I'm spending more money. If it doesn't, I might even think about getting another heater or water heater because uh, this is uh, eight years old. I don't see any rust yet, but you know it's coming sooner or later. Uh, that's been close to a minute. All right, so I let go. Oh, yep, she's still burning. So let's see if this thing will light up. Maybe I gotta clog that hole first. I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Let me go back to this. Here you go. Good. Turn this on. And uh, let's go up with some. Hey. Yeah, I gotta clog that because the 
there is making that all funky. Well, seems to be burning good. So that's burning a little better with that glass window in there. So I'm thinking that's a wrap. I've got hot water. Well, not yet, but I will. She's staying lit. So anyway, thanks for watching. Little diagnosing, troubleshooting. Turns out it's a thermal coupler. So if you got a you know hot water heater, gas hot water heater, that uh, I don't know, just you don't have hot water, you come down to relight this thing, follow the instruction. If it don't work, that's what happened here. Just that thermal coupler was. Uh, I guess they get uh, burnt out. I don't know how to measure them to find out if they're good or bad. You know, I just replaced it. it was ten bucks. All right, so I found some uh, some fella online that uh, shows you how to test see if one of these thermocouplers are good or bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it myself. See if this one's good or bad. And um, so I get you know you put uh, one lead on your you gotta have your multimeter on uh, millivolts. Uh, DC, DC millivolts. Put one lead on just the tube itself. It's not really a tube, but any other lead on um, the very tip there, the silver tip, uh, and then heat this bugger up here. So right now it says 0.5 milliamps, and he's saying between 25 and 30 milliamps is what you should see. I don't know what I'm going to see, but uh, it's 0.4 right now, just hooked up. Let's see what happens here. I'm climbing already. I don't know if it's going back and forth. It's 12, 13, 16. Yeah, it is climbing. And it's 20 right there. I don't know how hot the, uh, you know, in the, in the water here is. There's 25. But this thing's cherry red. So there's... Uh, it probably doesn't get that hot in a... Uh, you know, in a water heater because this is a torch, but... There's 30 milliamps right there, so maybe just cleaning this I could have got away with it. It's starting to go back down now as it cools, but there's 24. So I, this probably did work, but for $10 for this part, you got to take it apart anyway to clean it. I just assume put a new one in uh, but that's how you can test it I get when he tested his he only got like two milliamps so he knew it was bad this one is probably still good not that I'm gonna keep it like I said or ten bucks but anyways I thought that was interesting how to test these things so uh, anyways that's all I got thanks for watching yeah later